uh, federal employee, and my question kind of goes hand in hand with, you know, your area of growing the GDP to grow our make a bigger pie. Uh, the tax gap is approximately 400 billion a year, and yet IRS has lost 17,000 employees over the last seven to eight years, and yet there's been no increases to try and address. You know, we could bring make the pie bigger by collecting some of those taxes. Change the of that too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no, and I and I think that the one area in the IRS's budget and you know um, the IRS has been under fire a lot the past few years, as you I'm sure you know. But the one area that, that I think you need to ensure we've got sufficient manpower and resources is is uh, compliance and, 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 and collections and um, enforcement. You know, I think that um, that tax gap, there are a lot of taxes owed that aren't collected. And to me, you know, that's where you want to focus your energies. And that would help significantly with the, the budgetary uh, mess that we're in. So um, we have this, uh, the commissioner was just up in front of the Senate Finance Committee this last week, and we had a chance to, to question him. And I questioned him about identity theft and a few other things. But I think one of the questions that does come up is, you know, the, the, the use of um, uh, funding and, uh, you know, budgets for the IRS for enforcement, to me, is what the IRS should be about. And, you know, there are other things in the, uh, that the IRS has done the past few years that I don't think they should be about. But they are about collecting taxes and getting people to comply and to pay what they owe. And, uh, and that's one area of the budget that we ought to make sure that we've got uh, sufficient funding for.